What's up guys, I'm here in new Kia Center uh, in Croatia and behind me is the new Stinger. Now I have a key so let's dig into the review. Now guys, this is the new Stinger. I must say it looks pretty awesome. A sport car, you wouldn't say this is a Kia if there wasn't a Kia badge on it. Uh, even the name Stinger, this uh, font is sort of reminding me of the Maserati, but that just the font of this leathers. Now, the, here's the key. It's pretty interesting. Leather key. You have the uh, trunk unlock, unlock the car, and lock the car. It sort of looks like a detonator for a bomb. <laughs> I don't know. So let's. Um, Dig into the car. So we have LED lights uh, with the blinkers and daytime running lights. Pretty awesome looking. We have a wheel intake here. A nice sort of darkened chrome on the top as well. A round trim. We have this beautiful chrome here and we have a radar and front camera now this really looks aggressive and sporty uh, i like this 18 inch rims pretty cool you can get the 19 inch as option as well now we have here air going over here going past through around the tires and exiting over here so this is a real uh, as you can see, a real exit for the air. You have beautiful, also like a dark chrome windows. Now on the top on the hood, we have this like sport uh, exhaust are fake, so they are not real. 
for some reason it'd be awesome if they were so Kia maybe should consider changing that in the next model of year now we have a heads-up display I'm gonna get into that real quick we have a camera to keep you in the lane rain sensors now the car let's move around it the car is pretty big sportish it's like a coupe now it has beautiful lights let me switch those blinkers for you guys and the LEDs are going all around you're going over here you do have a stop light in the back window now this is the GT line stinger now this is a 2.0 actually excuse me 2.2 diesel car 200 horsepower now it has two pipes on the back has a diffuser I like this it has a back parking sensors and front parking sensors obviously now this is something is interesting this is mandatory in the US uh, in Europe it's really not necessary but they left it it does blend in with a red car but I don't know about the other colors now you get the camera on the back as well you get the LED lights for your plates now I'm gonna back off and try opening the trunk for you guys as you can see it goes really up high and there's really a lot of space in here you have the LED lights over here now there's something interesting it says fuel filter door manual I don't know I guess you pull it on the other side is the fuel cap now there's a lot of space in here and there isn't spare tire but there is a lot of place for your tools and stuff or a fire extinguisher now they could have done this a bit better it kind of stops here because it's all cloth but you have here a holders for your nets so you can strap something in with maybe a net now big space it does go pretty low over here you can see the space behind and you can press the button to close now on the back there is a fake exhaust here which that was real but it's more decorative purpose now there is a beautiful chrome line extending all the way to the end we have a shark fin on the top and this beautiful LED stoplight. Now, to get on the back of the car first, now I have locked the car. Now, I like the door sound, and this is all beautifully, seamlessly connected. We have a good soundproof here. Now, when you enter this car, you can notice immediately the premium materials. This leather, so soft, black stitches. Now you get the Harman speakers, pretty good. Look at this brushed aluminum. You wouldn't say this is Kia if you didn't see the badge. Now, the space on the back, there's a lot of space. Now you get nice leather seats uh, with, so it's aired leather. You have here a uh, child lock seat for, uh, for the seats. Now I'm gonna sit in the back. You of course have here sculpted plastic for your knees. And on the bottom you have a aluminum doorstep. Now it's pretty dark inside because the roof is this soft material. You have LED on the top. And there's a nice view next to you. Now, this back window is a bit little low. You do have a nice view in front of you. Now, I'm a tall and 
my knees are touching the seats. Now let's remind yourself this is a Korean uh, car manufacturer, so in Korea people are, people are a little bit lower in the average. But as you can see, I have a lot, uh, enough space I can survive on the back. Now if I tilt like this, I'm more comfortable. But the seats are comfortable for average person and there's enough of space here even for the kids. Now I wouldn't place a passenger on this seat but you have a nice armrest with cup holders. There is no key uh, for hole for the skis or golf clubs. Maybe you should, should consider that in the future. Over here you got AC. Now you have cold and warm as you can see this colors. Now we have this sort of uh, like in Mercedes and or Audi uh, round AC vents. You get a 12 watt socket here and you get a USB over here so you can charge your phone pretty convenient. This car is fully equipped so you have electric windows on the back and you have heated seats. This is an interesting place to put the remote. Now let's get on the front of the car. Now just a quick view, beautiful cockpit. Now let's get on the front of the car. Now I like the closing sound. It is really not bad. Even the window is down. So also very good isolation here. Yeah. Had that in mind. I like this red light. Not sure of the back. Nope. Uh, this looks really, really nice. Now, this is beautiful. You have leather here with this aluminium. Look at this door handle. I mean, this feels so much quality. You have your controls here for your uh, mirrors. You can fold them. You can lock the rear windows, lock the car, and you have here to grab. So you can close it like this or like this. Now this is beautiful and sort of reminds me of the Mercedes C-Class. Also aluminum uh, doorstep, no Stinger or any other like Kia, but you get here a GT carpets. Now, the seats. The seats have a lot of options. Now, you can, with this button, control this for your knees. Now you can move the seat backwards, forward. Also, you can lift it or tilt it. And you have, of course, back and forward. Uh, and up lumbar and lumbar support. Now, when you exit the vehicle, and when, when you open the door, uh, the steering wheel goes up, the seat goes back, so you can enter easily, and then it returns to the uh, preset position we can, which you can set over here. Now the car has uh, lights, lane assist, parking sensors for the side, fuel cap, and button for opening the trunk. Now you get the sport paddles and this is like in a truck, it's not like a brake, it's in one like sport car. You have LED light here open the hood which we're gonna do later. Now you have a electronically controllable steering wheel. No, it is a bit low when you sit in the car but it is accessible has a good closing sound. As you can see, the steering wheel has just lowered into my position. Now, the steering wheel is beautiful. You have all commands here for voice commands, for volume, phone calls, menus, uh, menu, another here, uh, cruising mode and uh, radar distance and all sorts of stuff. Now, it's a flat bottom. You get a GT line. Now this is sort of piano plastic, but it looks really good. This is not a hole, so it's here solid. Now you have a uh, shift paddles, and I like the way 
you have here on the plus, I don't know if you can see guys, this, and on the minus, there is like a, this. Now, really beautiful. I like this round, it looks sportish as well. Now, this is nice leather, black stitches, and this is aired leather. Quality and soft to the touch, really feels good. Now, this is brushed aluminium. Now you have your light switches here and you have your wiper controls over here. You have the AC like this, following the this lines. And in the center you have uh, round. Now, this feels really, really quality. Like, I would compare it maybe to Mercedes and other premium cars. This is all aluminium feels really good the buttons are soft to press really good now you get a start stop button here and you have the async controls I would say this is quite nice because you get a screen on the top which is a touch screen as well and you have a nice standard async controls and other controls so they're easy reachable and you can easy reach them over here now over here you have a eight speed automatic this is electronic automatic so it doesn't have nothing to do here uh, manually it's all electronic inside now we have parking you press here to move the lever to reverse neutral or drive you have a parking electronic parking brake you have auto hold you can turn off the ESP control and you can choose driving mode so this little fob now over here you have two hidden cup holders which have these holders as well there is a rubber here if you accidentally spill something you can pull it out and clean it now this is all brushed aluminium feels really good now this is a dual zone climate of course now over here when you push you have a 12 watt socket you have an aux and usb and this is a little indicator over here you have a inductive charging for your phone now i'm going to come closer here hope you can see this and you can hide some things so here really really nice this is like a also plastic now over here you have heated seats up and down aired seats so all this holes the air can go through them and cool you in the summer that is something to enjoy now we have a heated steering wheel for the winter pack you have parking sensors you have view so you can choose a front camera in here or the back when you're driving and you have auto off now the armrest is pretty long as you can see it was pretty long so you can rest your arm here now it doesn't have levels it just when you click this it goes a little bit up you push it up now it doesn't have levels i think he should maybe reconsider doing that it's, and and it's not you cannot move it front so you cannot extend it you cannot go forward something Kia should maybe consider in the future but this is okay now you have here another place for your things you have here this little cubby and you can lift it up so you have all of this space this is a huge space this is a massive space and this is really cool because you can put like a bottle here and I don't know glasses everything there's really room for everything so I must say uh, congrats to the Kia engineers they really thought of everything also over here I almost forgot to show you have a glove compartment with the LED light you get a huge manual manual for this car so this is nice material here I don't think there's AC but big glove compartment I like how this goes here I like really the design this is all leather soft materials this is plastic this is aluminium basil now this is also plastic this is all cloth hard strong plastic not cheap so 
This is the only cheap plastic, but all my car manufacturers, usually this part of the door, put this. But it's strong, so I don't think that's an issue. Now, I must say, over here, I don't know if you can see it, guys, it's really pretty dark. It's a nice, fine cloth as well, like on the roof, something similar. Now, this is like Alcantara, I guess, or something. It really feels nice to the touch. There is a speaker over there, as, as I mentioned before, a heads-up display. Now you have a nice mirror, it's black, so you can turn here off probably, uh, dim the windows and the side, I mean <laughs> the side mirrors and uh, the inner mirror. And now the view back, it's pretty small as you can see, so that might be an issue while driving. On the top here you have LED lights, you have standard switches here, you have a glasses compartment which is pretty cool. And on the top, you have a privacy mirror. So, hi guys. And you have a LED light on the top, both for the driver and the co and the co-driver. Now, I think it is time we start the car. Now, you do. This is my view. Now the mirrors have folded. I'm gonna turn on the car for you guys, but you have a good view of your surroundings. Now this might block your view a little bit. You have to move to see your blind spot, but you don't have to because the car has a blind spot warning. I'll show you over here, as you can see. And on the top, it has auto heated up, heated uh, mirrors. So I have the key here, which is once again wireless. Now I'm gonna press the start, you get this beautiful IKEA over there sign. Now I have to press it one more time, so you get a warning message here, firm. Now watch this, I like this, like if, it looks like the car was scanned in a way. Now you can see the heads up display, I'm gonna zoom in, it's pretty sharp in, in, in real uh, I mean in person uh, I've, This is first time for me experience. It looks pretty cool Now back to the speedometer I have a classic speedometer. You have a screen inside looks really nice now There is all sorts of options here like if for instance You can have your navigation compass driver display tire pressure you can have here a heads-up display options Heads up display, display height. So you can you can customize a lot of things in Kia. So look at this. You can push it up. See? A lot of options here. I must say uh, the Kia engineers have outdone themselves. Now you can rotate it. I don't know why. Uh, you can uh, brighten it up. Like if you don't see it <laughs> over there. Um, there's all sorts of options. And speedometer size, medium. Oh, so you can like go and enlarge it even better. <laughs> so there's all sorts of options, and this really feels soft, I must say. Uh, over here, you have speedometer color. You can even look at this, you can customize this. It's white, now it's yellow, and now it's green. Wow, this is pretty awesome, if you ask me. <laughs> I must say this, I'm really impressed with this Kia. It is it is pretty impressive car. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the menus, but you have a lot of options here, as you can see. Now, you can choose here a digital speedometer, drive mode, and now you can choose a drive mode here. Now you can see if I move the fob, you have smart. Now this smart adapts to your style of driving then you have eco, then you have comfort, and we can individualize, you can go sporty, but this is a real sport option. When you wanna, everything stiff, the suspension and everything, and sport plus is when you wanna drift, you have all wheel drive and you can use rear drive only. Now you can see as this has changed. Now if I go to the menu here, and I go, you can have all 
data here. This is pretty cool. Now I like how this color changes when you go to sport. Now when you go to comfort. So the color of the inside display. Now if you move here the little fob, you can you can see how it changes. The pictures change. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it in comfort. <laughs> uh, anyway, very very nice, very quality. Now over here you can you can see you can there's a little camera that reads the signs. Now it doesn't read anything at the moment. Over here you have a touch screen. Now you can go here for the menus. Uh, pretty good. Uh, response is pretty good. You have navigation here. Uh, route favorites. Now I usually mute the sound. Now you have climate controls here. Uh, all big, uh, pretty simple. Um, you have all your here controls as well. You can go through settings. There's a lot of options. I saw saw a reviews of this in detail. There's so many options here. Here really uh, did a good job on this. So you have a radio here. Now let's turn on the speakers. Now here's the volume control. Now I would like to, now I'm not familiar with this. You have of course Apple and Android CarPlay. Now if you go to radio and I'm gonna find a nice radio for you guys. Some pop music maybe, just to show you the speakers. Eleven smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger. Once I was eleven years now this is a pretty good speaker system, as you can see. Nothing to complain about this. Here are the hazards. You have indicators in uh, the side mirrors. And I, I really must say, I'm. This is. My first impression of the car are awesome. You have here set up a menu navigation, so you don't have to reach for the touch screen. It is quite easier. You just you know extend your hand. You have media here, radio, uh, just a lot of options and really good. Looks good. Of course, I think this fob is maybe for manual radio search. You have here uh, uh, front defrost, rear defrost, AC. You can turn it on turn it off, uh, all, all sorts of climate controls, you can uh, adjust here, you have double uh, dual zones and all sorts of other stuff, I'm gonna turn this off and I think we should go outside and just try showing the, the lights now, let's see, I'm not completely familiar with this, they're on auto now I like how they show you inside. Now you can see over there the lights. You can only have the front LED lights, full beam. You can leave it on auto or turn them off. Now let's get outside and just show you. Now the doors can really extend all the way, even the back doors and you have a lot of room to exit and in the back to uh, put a child seat. Now let's just see those LED lights. The car is warning us, but this is how they look. They look pretty awesome. And let's check the back. Now this looks pretty nice. It reminds me of some sport cars, which I can't remember now. But pretty awesome, pretty nice. Check this view when everything's on. I must say. This car is really, really something. Now look at this. Once it's on, there is a good view around you and this is it guys this is where i'm gonna end the video 
Uh, thank you for watching. Leave the comments below. What do you think about this car? Do you like this car? You now you have this goodbye sound when you turn it off and a greeting sound when you enter. So leave the comments below. What do you think about the car? I think if you showed me this car and hide the badge, I maybe wouldn't be able to guess the car. So I think it's pretty awesome. And tell me in the comments below what do you think. And subscribe to my channel. Every week I'm having reviews uh, in salon or test drives. So make sure to follow me. Like this video and we'll see you in the next review. Stay cool, see ya. Here is the price tag for uh, this model. So this is for the Croatian audience. I'm gonna translate how much this is in euros. Gotta thank Kia in Zagreb and Volvo.